Hey guys, what's up? We're looking at finding the intersection of two lines and then finding the angle between those two intersecting lines. So we got two lines here. The first one is given in its parametric equations, 2t plus 2 for x, t minus 1 for y, and t plus 1 for z. The second line is given in terms of a different parameter because they may not necessarily change at the same rate. Um, we want to have them independent of each other, so it's not like they both depend on t. They just both depend on a parameter, and we just want to make sure that they move, or we can move along the line as we would change a parameter. So we use a different letter in each case to represent each line. So the second line has x equals s minus 1, y equals negative s minus 1, and z equals 2s minus 2. So we've got two lines here. Let's take a look at what they look like, and then we'll see that they intersect. All right, so if we take a look at these lines here, we have the first line is here in orange. So this first line is in orange. The second line is in blue. They do indeed intersect, and it looks like that angle between the lines, well, it could be acute if we find it over here, depending on which way the direction vectors point, or it could be this angle here, depending on, again, which direction vectors were given. But it doesn't really matter too much. Um, if we need the other angle, we can just do 180 or pi minus whatever angle we find. So it's really just based on the direction vectors and how the line is represented. All right, so how do we find out or how do we show that the two lines intersect? Well, two lines intersect if they share a common point, which would mean x, whatever x is right here, should be equal to whatever x is right here. So they have a common point x, y, z. And same thing here, y, whatever it is here, should be equal to whatever y is here. And same thing here, z, t plus 1 should be equal to 2s minus 2. So we're going to get three equations by equating all three variables. So equate x, y, and z. Right, so we equate the x, y, and z components in each line. That's going to give us a system of equations that we need to solve. And if we can solve this system of equations and have a value of s and t that satisfy every equation in the system, then that means the lines intersect. So we write these equations as the first one, 2t minus s is equal to, well, that'll be negative 3. And then t plus s will be equal to, zero and then lastly t minus 2s be equal to negative 3. And as we solve the system of equations the second equation tells us that t is going to be equal to negative s and then we can take that and substitute it into maybe the third equation and that'll tell us that t plus equal to negative 3. So t plus 2t equals negative 3. So that would tell us that t is equal to negative 1, and which would tell us that s should be equal to positive 1. So we get the solution to our system of equations. Now, let's see if these two satisfy every equation in our system of equations. So it satisfies the last two equations because we use the last two to solve for s and t, but does it satisfy this equation? So let's plug in s equals 1 and t equals negative 1. So this gives us negative 2 minus 1 equals negative 3. So that does satisfy all three equations. So yes, these, are, these two lines are going to intersect. So these lines at well, where do they intersect? They intersect whenever we plug in s equals 1 over here, or if we plug in t equals negative 1 over here. Well, if we plug in s equals 1, we'll get x equals 1 minus 1, which is 0. y equals negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. And z equals 2 minus 2, which is 0. So these should intersect at the point 0, negative 2, 0. So if we look at our graph, they intersect on the negative y axis. 
So this is the x-axis, the y-axis, the z-axis. So they do intersect right there at the negative y-axis, y equals negative 2. Now we want to find the angle between the two vectors. So to find the angle between the two vectors, what we need to do is take their direction vectors and find the angle between those two direction vectors. So now the first line has a direction vector v1, we'll say, and it's the components of t. So it's whatever is multiplied by t is the direction vector. So the x component of the direction vector is 2. So our direction vector here is 2, 1, 1. So the direction vector is 2, 1, 1 for the first line. The direction vector for the second line is 1, negative 1, 2. So v2 is going to equal 1, negative 1, 2. And now it's just a simple find the angle between the vectors. So the the angle between the direction vectors is going to be the angle between the lines because the lines are parallel to the direction vectors. So now all we got to do is find the dot product of v1 dot v2 and then the magnitudes of v1 and v2. So, so what's the dot product of these two? It's going to be 2 minus 1 plus 2, which is 3, over the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared is 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. Square root, same thing here, 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6. So this is going to be 4 minus 1, which is 3, over 6. So cosine of theta equals 1 half. So cosine theta equals 1 half. Well, what angle between 0 and pi gives us cosine theta equals 1 half? Well, that is theta equals pi over 3. So that's the angle between these two lines. The angle between the lines is pi over 3. So indeed, this is the acute angle between the lines that we see on our graph. So indeed, if we look at angle here, it looks like it's this angle that we're finding.